Hey, welcome back guys. We're going to do our stereotype of baby mamas. Everybody has their own stereotype of what a baby mama is. We are both baby, baby mamas, mamas. And we're totally <laughs> different. This bitch is crazy. I'm not as crazy as she is. I don't do the things she does and I question it all the time. She's like, you're crazy. Because I do this. Da, 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 da. And I'm like, no, that's too much. But people always say, I'm not going to get in a relationship with someone with a kid. But the age we are now, everybody got kids. Somebody got a kid somewhere. So, people always say, I'm not going to get in a relationship because of baby mama drama, baby daddy drama. But do y'all really know why it's drama? No. Y'all just think because everybody want to say, oh, he's still, she's still like him. Da, da, da. It may not even be that. Sometimes it is. Don't get me wrong. It's like, what, two? I say two ways that you feel like that they, it's drama. One, they're not doing what they're supposed to do. And two, they still got feelings for them? Right. Still got feelings for them. What <laughs> drama see, you have? Like, there should it. be no drama at all, actually. Mm -hmm. Other than, you know, jealousy. Like, they feel like maybe that the your boyfriend or girlfriend is taking care of their child better than them. The jealousy thing. Or they, you know, but that. That's you, nice how problem. can you get mad for somebody stepping up? As far right. as me with my baby mama drama, I don't feel like I'm a baby, baby mama, like a crazed baby mama the whole time I was pregnant. The after the fact, like I would get angry sometimes, but I'm not that person that's just gonna just bam, just blow your phone up, come to your house, mm -hmm. uh, ride by, see what you and your girlfriend doing. I don't give a damn as long as you do what you're supposed to do for our son. That's it. Right. Or our child, whatever. You know, I don't want to get too personal. <laughs> just want you to do what you're supposed to do. And that's what every every baby mama or baby daddy wants. They just want everything to run smoothly. And I feel like that people shouldn't say they're not going to get in a relationship with someone because they have a kid. Like, what does that mean? Like, so you're saying that you may pass up the person of your life, like the best person that you probably ever meet, because you said that because they have a kid. That's not right. right. Like, for what? I have been that person to say... I'm not going to get in a, in, a, in a relationship with anybody with kids because I'm selfish and I want to ha start our family together and they've already started that family. But then when I had a child... First of all, I, have, I had my kids in high school. I got two baby daddies. <laughs> I got a 12-year-old and I got twins. So whatever. I got two baby daddies. I had my kids in high school and I've had kids all for 12 years. And even still, I've been a person too that been like, I'm not talking to nobody who got kids. I said that and I have my kids because I know how crazy some of the baby mamas can be. Like I've heard stories about how crazy some of the baby mamas are. So I said I personally don't want to deal with, you know, if you got your baby mama under control and y'all good, fine. I will date you all day long if you got kids. But if your baby mama is out of control, let me just say, blowing up your phone all the time. Kid don't even need nothing that she blowing up your phone all the time. What you calling you for? Are, what well, you think because you got a baby mama, you got pussy all the time. In-house. Like, no! Them? I wish my baby daddy would call me and be like, Nika. <laughs> no. Nika, I'm are not you serious? No. <laughs> it's not true for everybody because we don't even be on that level like that. Like, he's never came at me. I've well, never came well, at well, me. both of my baby daddies, I was in relationships, but like I said, it was high school. You know, you think you're in love. You think that it's this and that. You know, I was in love. I, I guess for that, you know, however long we were together for a couple years in both situations. So, I was in love, blah, blah. So, after we broke up, well, I, I don't want to get too elaborate because I know he watching. Because <laughs> I know he watching. He already told me to talk about his ass on the show. <laughs> I'm gonna just say this. He went away. I was still here with the kids. You know, we, I thought we were still together. I don't know exactly what we were doing. He got somebody else pregnant, and but I, and that's I, that's when I turned into the crazy. crazy baby mama because we still doing our thing. Like we still doing our thing. Like we never stop doing our thing. And then you go away, and then you 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 tell me that you know, oh no, she's just my friend. You know, we just we just hang out from time to time. And I my dumb ass believed you because I was in love and. Mm -hmm. You know, you gave me this little promise ring and like, you know what I'm saying? All this. So, you get somebody else pregnant and then come home and everything's still supposed to be fine. No. You go over there with your other baby mama and your other kid and y'all do y'all thing. And that's why I was only mad because I still had really had feelings for him. See? You know what I'm saying? This I, I, proof. Didn't, I, this I was only proof, pissed off because I still really thought that that was going to be the person that I was going to be with for the rest of my life. You know what I mean? Like I was done. I didn't talk to nobody else. You know what I'm saying? I was a faithful. No, I wasn't faithful. <laughs> I lie. All right. But I really did. <laughs> But she really believed. I really 
did that. think that, you know, this was going to be the man that I was going to be with. Like five years later, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I could give two shits what he does with his life. <laughs> We don't care. There is no drama. Like, I don't give two shits. I don't care at it's all. No drama. We uh, we we've came, we've come to a point to where we can actually co-parent and be good. I know his other baby mama now, and we don't have any issues. There's no beef. They got a whole other kid together. You know what I'm saying? And it's fine. We don't have no beef. I could call her. She could call me, and we're good. No, you know what I'm saying? There was a point in time where we'd be at not that advanced yet. Yeah, you, it'll, it'll take time, though. It, it takes time, and it takes maturity. Like, I had to grow up. Like, we, it was a point in time when we would be at our, at my kids' birthday parties, and both, both of us be there, and not say shit, one word to each other, just look. Because of my friends over here, we just mugging. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> just being messy. <laughs> you know, we had our, our time, we had our moment, I'm done with all that, I don't care about nothing that he does. They engaged now, I said it's about time when they told me, they've been together for long enough. Whatever, but I think that as long as you don't have feelings for your ex no more, and as long as they I take care of their kids, there should be no reason to have any type of. Telling y'all this, I felt like this is a good topic because everybody believes that it's just so much drama when someone has a kid. Right. But I want y'all to know from baby mamas <laughs> what it really is. Like why. Why is it the way it is? Mm -hmm. It really it's only a few reasons. It's only a couple reasons. And once you get that, your your relationship can be good. And I'm saying don't pass up a good relationship because I'm someone saying, has I, it just depends. If if you're if you're if you're a girl and her baby daddy always on the phone arguing, you might not want to be in a relationship with her. Because they still got some unsettled shit. You know what I'm saying? Like you might just want to weigh your options and see whatever, whatever. But if her baby daddy can call you, she's sitting right at could call her she's sitting right on the couch with you and they talking and it's just hey you know about the kids uh, da, and y'all phone what's the problem None. where does the problem lie? well let me i have to just say this though we talked about this earlier uh off camera about the the baby mamas who uh be so worried about the child support and all this and mm. you so worried about child support like you know what i'm saying as long as long as your kid is good you using it for whatever anything that has to do with your child fine but you can't be so worried about child support and you out every night in the club spending money da 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 all that shit you don't even hardly have your kid right if your kid is really with somebody else for the most part but you calling your baby daddy hitting him up about child support and you threatening him with child support all the time all da 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 that's a problem. That's one That's of those things it. that gives baby mamas a, a bad name. In the club, Scott's every Wednesday. Right. You in uh, Bamboo Lounge. All, all these different places. You out every weekend. I'm like, where is your child? Like, where? Like, I mean, mind you, sometimes, like, especially when you have a, a good kid <clears throat> and people want to watch them. Because mm -hmm. everybody wants to watch mine. I don't know why. Because he's bad to me. But <laughs> everybody wants to watch him. They feel like he's a good kid. So right. I do get free time. Mm -hmm. But that's not me being out, like, trying to find somebody to watch him every weekend because I want to be in the club. Right. Like, that's, and then you want to be on the phone blowing your baby daddy or something. I need my money so you can go buy bottles in the club. Like, come right. on. Now, if you're paying your car note, cool. You paying for things that you may need, like to get back and forth to work, like gas, because you have that's money for you to provide for your kids. For your child, right. So that's not a big deal. But people confuse why people need child support. Child support is not only for the kid. I'm taking care of your kid 24-7 for the most part. I gotta get to and from work. I gotta buy food. I gotta buy clothes. I gotta do all this shit. Whatever I need doesn't come first. My needs come last. You know what I'm saying? Right. You know what I'm saying? Now. You don't 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 try to call me and check me on how I'm spending the child support. As long as you know your kids are good, they're not calling you asking you for nothing, then obviously they get in what they need. You right. know what I'm saying? I'm providing for them. My I'm doing my motherly duties. Just make sure you do your fatherly duties. Right? And it's all good. I'm not mad. In the long run, this will have to know. Look, this is my life. I come with a package, you know what I'm saying? But it's drama free though. Right. All we do is have good times. Everybody does not have drama with their baby mama. And for the single parents, though, let me just say for the single baby mamas out there, I've been there. I was that for a long time with three kids. It doesn't matter who you are, where you at, what you're doing. Do whatever it is that you want to do. It all it will get better. It will get better. And don't be like just because you got kids, you ain't you gonna be single for the rest of your life. It's not gonna happen. I've been in plenty of relationships after the fact that I already had kids. And it just depends on you and the person that you're with to make it happen. It's hope for all parents, all single parents, all single mothers and single fathers. I applaud y'all. Keep doing your thing.